Like sitting like a boss, bring the workers out. Press on the exhaust, we be scared now. No, we not the same. What you talking about? Got me all up in your matches, must have heard around. How that sound? Yeah, that sound. Casey's Customs and today we're going to be working on the tug -a In this video I'm going to be focusing on shaving down all the foam we added in the last video and also starting some of the body work on it. Um, I also end up making the hood in this video, kind of show you how I go about that because this I did actually make certain parts of this out of metal. Um, everything's going to get coated in fiberglass so I'm not worried about the Bondo. Um, normally you wouldn't want to put Bondo on anything that would touch water because it's not really waterproof But put the Bondo on just to kind of give it a shape and kind of put a barrier between the foam and the fiberglass If you put fiberglass straight on the spray foam, it'll just melt it. <laughs> so you got to have something in between the two um, That's where we're gonna get started on this video. So let's go So I'm gonna be filling this in with metal and probably down here what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do first is seal it all up with foam and then see how much the foam you know expands and keeps the shape if it if it seals all this in down here i might not have to do metal work down there but we'll see this is going to be metal no matter what i do just because it's such a big piece let's start spraying some shit i don't know if i videotaped this or not but this used to come out to a point and it didn't really match the tugboat shape very much, so I shaved that down about, I don't know, six or eight inches. Holy shit, what a mess. There ain't no turning back now, baby. Oh my god. I gotta let this stuff set like a day or two. It says eight hours, but I know as thick as it is, it's probably still gonna have some some soft spots. So I'm gonna let it set a little bit and then we can start shaving it down. Start getting some fiberglass on it. So this is still drying. It's really hard as a rock up here, but it still has some give in it. So I don't really want to start cutting it yet and then have the shit just turn into a gooey mess. So anyways, while we're waiting on that, I got my new oversized pistons in. Also, check out that Suburban just laying on the ground. Love it. I got my new oversized pistons in. So, we're gonna go get this shit rebuilt. Let's go. Too big. We're going 25 over, which is pretty damn huge. We're gonna go take them in here and uh, have these guys machine them. It's a small business. They do a lot of like dirt bikes and shit, but I've had them do a bunch of work for me. It's kind of cool. I think it's like 50 bucks a cylinder or something. Not too bad at all. But hopefully I have them back in about a week or so. It is time to start shaving our foam that has dried. Most likely we'll end up shaving it, finding low spots, adding more foam. Yeah, who knows, we'll see. But. I got an old drywall saw that I think will work perfect. And I'll start cutting some of this excess off and see how it looks so far. <laughs> nice. Got the new foam added to it. It's already starting to swell up pretty big. You can see where my low spots were, but either way, it's still thick enough. I gotta wait. I gotta wait probably at least a day or two before I can shave it down again. So stay tuned. One eternity later.
So I'm liking it. I think I'm gonna throw a couple screws in it so I can see if I need to tweak the shape anymore. Uh, let's mark it. One there and one there. go i don't hate that i'm gonna tweak this piece a little bit more because i want that up there a little bit and i got a gap up here that's driving me crazy so i should be able to just bend it around and i have to remake a piece what i'm gonna do after i do that is get some more foam i'm out of it right now and then seal all this up around the edge which will hold that piece in there solid and then we're gonna figure out a hood i want a hood up here i want to be able to open it up get into the storage space down there and also if i need to do any work on like the steering i'll be able to get up under there that way so it'll have a little little front trunk a funk i think is what they were calling them the other day so kind of like that shape though it's very tugboatish. i wish it had a little more i mean i could i can make it out of foam or fiberglass but i'll probably end up blending this a little bit more i'm gonna bend this metal piece a little bit better and then we'll see but Stay tuned. Okay, we need to start filling this in. I'm gonna make this piece out of sheet metal and then foam it in and then we'll lay it over the fiberglass. Start bending some metal up. shave a lot of shit down on this one <laughs> okay now we just have to let this monstrosity dry all the way that's gonna be a lot of shaving <laughs> i want to look crazy with the phone this stuff's welled up big <laughs> Okay, I got the foam shaved where this is ready to get some Bondo on it. Okay, let's let that dry. I need to take this guy off. I don't want him. Oh no, it's brittle, it might break. <gasps> oh, I think I broke it. Oh no, wait. Yay! I gotta put that back in there. I think there's one on the back too. I should probably pop it. Come on, don't break. Yes! I kinda hate that this has a part number on it. I don't, or whatever it is, a phone number rather. I kinda hate that it has this phone number on it. So I'll go ahead and shave that down real quick. It's moving along pretty quickly. I've been trying to work on it like an hour every night after work, um, just to kind of keep it moving. Uh, I'd get a lot more work done if I just stayed on it for a full day or two, but that doesn't pay the bills very well and that doesn't get my customer cars done very quickly. <laughs> so I've just been working on it a little bit here and there. It's actually moving along pretty damn quickly though. Um, I'm gonna be starting the fiberglass probably in the next video. Uh, that's gonna be a complete mess. I've done a bunch of fiberglass before, but I wouldn't say I'm an expert by any means. So to cover this whole thing is going to be uh, very interesting to say the least. So um, also, if you follow me on like Facebook and TikTok, uh, I pretty much post a video almost every day, every couple days on there. They're just little quick, you know, 30 second clips here and there. But if you want to stay tuned with that to kind of see how it's progressing in real time, check me out on there as well. But 
Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and uh, check out some more of my other videos. Peace! Sitting like a boss, bring the workers out. Press on the exhaust, we be scared now. No, we not the same. What you talking about? Got me all up in your mentions, must have heard around. How that sound? Yeah, that sound.